Hello, this is Jeff at Magical Fruit Toots. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a circle with equal curved segments. This tutorial should work with Photoshop CS5 and above. Start out with a new document with a width of 2400 pixels, a height of 2400 pixels, and a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Add a new layer and name it Circle. Make sure the View menu has rulers checked. Drag the horizontal and vertical rulers towards the center of the document. They should snap to the center. Change the foreground color to black. Make the brush tool 9 pixels and hard round. Choose the ellipse tool. In the ellipse options, Make sure that path is chosen. Also in the settings, check the circle and from center boxes. With your ellipse tool still selected, hover your cursor over the exact center of the screen. Drag out your circle to your desired width. Let go of the mouse, right click on the screen, click stroke path. Make sure assimilate pressure is not checked. Click OK. Press Escape twice to deselect the path. Make a new layer and name it Arc. Make sure your pen tool is selected. Zoom in to the center of the screen. Left click the mouse to place the beginning point. Zoom in to the upper perimeter of the circle. Place your ending point on the perimeter of the circle. Then drag the mouse to make a curve. Right click on the mouse and choose Stroke Path. Make sure Simulate Pressure is unchecked. Click OK to stroke the path. Click Escape twice to deselect the path. Zoom in to the center of the circle. Notice that Photoshop has extended the line below the horizontal center line of the picture and to the left. We need to erase those areas. Use the marquee tool to mark the areas that need to be erased, then press delete once they've been selected. Press Ctrl-0 to maximize your screen area. Select the circle layer and reduce its opacity to 50%. Select the arc layer. Now zoom in to the top of the circle where the curve meets the perimeter. We're going to erase the top of the curve where it meets the perimeter so it's only halfway in the middle of the perimeter. Choose the polygonal lasso tool to mark your area to be deleted. Press delete once the area has been selected. Control D to deselect. Press Control 0 to maximize the screen. Press Control T to enter the transform tool. Notice that the bottom left of the bounding box is near the center of the circle. This means on the reference point grid we must use the bottom left dot. Now Photoshop knows to rotate around this bottom left point. I plan to have 24 segments on the circle. This means the degrees of rotation must be 15 degrees. I've included a chart to help you determine how many degrees to use depending on how many segments you want. Once you've entered the degrees press return twice. Next press Control, Alt, Shift, and T 23 times. Next we want to select all the arc layers and turn them into a smart object. First select the top layer and then go down to the bottom layer which will be arc. Press Shift and select the bottom layer. Once they're all selected, right-click and convert to Smart Object. 
Alternatively, you can merge the layers. If you wish, you can make more curved segments on the same circle. I'll show you how to do so next. Select the circle layer and the arc 23 layer and reduce the opacity to 50%. You can do this by pressing the 5 key when you have the layer selected. Make a new layer. Name it Second Arc. As before, make sure that black is a foreground color and that a hard round 9 is the size of the brush. Also, your rulers should be on as before. Choose the pen tool. Zoom into the center of the circle and place the begin point there. Zoom out and drag up with the space bar held down to the top of the perimeter of the circle. Place and drag the desired curve where you want it. Right click on the curve and select Stroke Path. Press OK to select. Press Escape twice to deselect the path. Now zoom back into the center to modify the stroke. Use the Marquee tool to erase the areas in red shown here. Zoom out and drag with the spacebar up to the top of the circle. Use the polygonal lasso tool to modify the curve where it meets the perimeter as before. Use Control-0 to zoom out to the full screen. Press Control-T to initialize the Transform tool. The bottom right portion of the bounding box is where the axis of rotation should be. So we're going to click the bottom right dot of the control grid. We still want 24 segments, so we will use 15 degrees as the arc of rotation. Press Enter twice, then press Ctrl-Alt-Shift-T 23 times as before. Select the new top layer, then hold down Shift while selecting the original second arc layer. Right click and select Convert to Smart Object as before. While the new Smart Object layer is selected, zoom in to the center of the circle. You can then use the Transform tool to make minor adjustments so that the center lines up with the center of the rulers that are already there. Use the arrow keys to make these nudges. Zoom out using Control-0. Go back to the layers that you reduced the opacity on and return the opacity to 100%. I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan to make a follow-up video using these techniques to come up with some unique designs. Thanks for watching.